Deputies in Fremont County are warning drivers to fuel up before they find themselves in trouble on the road, as chances are you or someone you know is traveling on I-29 this weekend. Reporter Alex McClune shows us how closed ramps to our south could strand you on the interstate. There are plenty of gas stations at the edge of Council Bluffs, many of them busy Saturday during the holiday weekend, and some drivers who travel south have come to learn this is their last stop before hitting the interstate. I got to plan everything, you know, I just can't stop and get gas like the, the convenience, you know, I got to plan it ahead. Planning ahead is the message Fremont County deputies are trying to get across to drivers heading south from Council Bluffs because they can't get gas for nearly 70 miles in that stretch. They're encouraging drivers to fuel up in western Iowa before heading south. They don't want you missing your last chance to fuel up. That's because these exits by Nebraska City are the latest to shut down. Broken levees let recent rainwater flood these roads. Law enforcement has noticed a rise in water level in the past 24 hours. Last night I drove past here and there was just a little bit of water kind of coming over the road. You could still get through it um, and then as you can see it's several feet deep now. So deputies are reminding drivers to obey these road close signs. So we've had far too many people ignore road closure signs and go around barricades and end up getting stuck in the water and that's not safe for anybody. Nearby, Highway 2 west toward Nebraska City is also closed. It's frustrating drivers like Frank Adkins who works at Sap Brothers and now has to use a detour. Typically takes me about 10 minutes to get to my driveway and back to work here at Sap Brothers. Now it takes now it'll take me about an hour and 10 minutes to get home tonight. Frustrations from the flood still lingering. It's just the water and there's nothing we can do about it until we get our levees fixed. Alex McClune, 3 News Now. That's a long detour. Sheriff's deputies say they don't know when those ramps will be back 